here we go again, ready to make history with Windows Phone 7. Microsoft has done a great job in making the user interface fun, fast, and personal. When we set out to change the design of Windows phones, we, we really asked ourselves two simple questions. How can we build a phone that takes those everyday tasks and simplifies them? And how can we take all the power and capability that's been blossoming in web services and in applications and put those in a phone experience in a way that makes them faster and simpler for people to deal with? You know, Windows Phone 7, it's super unique. The UI is fun, it's fast, and it gets you the stuff you want. It's really cool to use. We want to let you get in, out, and back to life and have that be as fast and simple as humanly possible. I, I think it's great that they did place hardware requirements, the one gigahertz processor really feels snappy. Even though there's a lot of screen animations, it just it feels fast. And they're interestingly clearly aimed at sort of different demographics. So you have the same operating system for different users. So for the HCC device, you've got sort of the, the, the gamers with the LG, you've got the heavy emailing crowd, and the Samsung, very video centric with that gorgeous Super AMOLED screen. It's an awesome experience. It's a unique, fun to use interface that gives you super fast access to content and data on the nation's fastest mobile broadband network. AT&T has long prided itself on offering the widest variety of mobile operating systems and a huge diversity in both hardware and software for consumer choice. You know, at and has been a great partner for Microsoft, flagship devices every year. Who else but AT&T?